name is Peston. I live in Cape Town. Also, I do uh, delivery. Interbed helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. A very good morning from myself, Devon Govender, and welcome to the Gallup TV selection show for the race meeting that's scheduled to take place on the 29th of November. Of course, we're racing at Hollywood Bets Scottsville. We've got an action-packed lineup for you, and I'm joined today by Rahil Radhakrishna. It's an absolute pleasure to be working alongside Rahil, and hopefully we can find some winners for you. Good morning, Rahil. How are you doing? All good, thanks. And yourself, Devon, obviously looking forward to uh, the first set of juvenile uh, races here in KZN. We kick it off with the juvenile plate over the 800 metre uh, trip and uh, we saw uh, obviously over the weekend racing out at Turf Teen and then Hollywood bets Kenilworth and uh, touching on, on Turf and Teen, obviously Royal Victory coming through to win the Betway Summer Cup. A huge shock for I'm sure many punters out there but uh, a brilliant performance from him and it was, it was almost so convincing that it would have made you thought that he was a horse that uh, would have been one of the leading lights in, in, which, uh, in the way in which he got the job done. Yeah, no, 100%. Well done to all the winning connections there of uh, Royal Victory. Well done to Nathan Kotzen, the entire team, all the owners, everybody involved. Some uh, good KZN representation there. And they showed the boys how it's done up in the high felt. It was a very exciting race, Rahil. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, next plan, uh, Jess had a chat to Nathan uh, over the weekend. And he mentioned that uh, Hollywood Best 7 July has obviously got, got to be the aim now. And he'll slowly build him, build him up to there. So... Looking forward to seeing how he goes, uh, go, goes from here on in, but because he's a horse that they've always held in high regard. Yes, beautiful stuff there. And uh, we've got a great weekend of racing coming up in the future, of course, at uh, Hollywood Bets Kenilworth. We've got the Cape Phillies Guineas Grade 1, the Greenpoint Stakes Grade 2, the Southern Cross Stakes Grade 2, and the Cape Summer Stayers Listed Race. That's, of course, on the 2nd of December as well as a host of features coming up for Harness Racing fans, which kicks off on Friday, the 1st of uh, December. We've got the Inter-Dominion Grand Final coming up. The heats will start on the 1st of December. That's on Friday. They're racing in Queensland. Of course, that takes place at Albion Park. So stay tuned to Gallup TV. We're going to be covering all that. But uh, moving on to the business end of affairs, Hollywood Bet Scottsville. Race number one will jump at 12.20. It's the download the race card online, www.goldcircle.co.za, maiden juvenile plate over 800 meters. Now, Rahil, when you look at this race, I just think that the betting could be the best guide for punters, and I think the punters should keep a close eye on these horses in the parade ring as well as going down to the start because it is very tricky, very hard to judge. Yeah, absolutely, but it's, it's quite interesting that the market have priced up this horse, a fine one as their favourite, deep in the red at 8 to 10 in the market. He's found slight support, he's now trading at 7 to 10, so he's a son of One World. I'm keen to see how uh, One World does as a, as a stallion because um, he's sort of uh, his first set of crop is starting to come out now and I think fine one might be the first one of those and let's see how he goes on debut it's uh, 11 to 2 about hot lava and then you get in 6 to 1 and bets about those so follow the market keep a very close eye on any action as the horses move down to the start before making your final decision the Michael Miller runners they always hold a very strong hand whenever it comes to the juvenile races they've got numbers 1, 3, 7 and 9 so between those four runners I think we've got to keep a very close eye on each, indiv each individual in the contest and um, let's, how we, let's see how it all unfolds in the first race on the program which is the start of the, the bar pot so just tread warily when it comes to your selections hold on to it as long as possible until making uh, those final decisions with regards to race number one. Good fun days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together, um, and to have you know companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into into making a day like this possible is uh, it's it's fantastic for everyone. Mm -hmm. 